Greetings, earthlings, wisdom keepers, wisdom seekers. Welcome back to Wisdom Drops, your source for daily drops of wisdom and savvy cat astrology, which is what we're here to discuss today. So by the end of this video, you're going to have more of my insight on Scorpio. Why is Scorpio the most powerful sign of the zodiac? I've been really feeling this energy a lot lately, probably because as I film this, the moon's transiting the sign of Scorpio. But it's just a good question to ask ourselves when we hear things like, Scorpio's the most powerful sign of the Zodiac, man. Why is that though? Why is that really the case? Well, it's the case because as I said in a brief video before this, Scorpio's ruled by both Mars and Pluto. So it's some pretty badass energy just with that. But let's put that off to the side for a second. It's also a water sign, right? And it's fixed water, so it's firmly water. Now, let's put that on the side, okay? So we got it's ruled by Mars and Pluto on one little dish over here. We got it's, you know, a fixed water sign. We got that on a little dish somewhere over here, okay? And now let's go into something else that I've been thinking about. Hmm, who are the most badass signs of the zodiac? We know Scorpio. Yeah, you're the top, blah, 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 right? But who else are the most badass signs? Well, when you hear people reflect on that, two other signs usually come up, don't they? I know I always hear about Aries being really tough and badass and awesome and fiery, like don't mess with no Aries, okay? And then I also hear about Capricorns being like really tough, like boss energy, like just awesome badass people, right? So then you start to think, hmm, well, what's the common denominator between all of these three most like tough and, you know, intense kind of like signs? And it's their ruling planets because both Aries and Scorpio are ruled by Mars, right? Even though we know that from this little dish over here that Scorpio is also ruled by Pluto. Okay. But then you go over to Capricorn and it's ruled by Saturn. So Saturn, Mars, and Pluto, those three planets are considered to be like malefics of the planetary energies that we deal with, okay? Uh, so like Pluto's a newer discovery, so it's not so much like hardcore malefic, but it is at the end of the day. So anyway, those three planets are malefics, meaning that they're like mean or bad energies, but that's not always the case because if you're a savvy cat astrologer or just a spiritualist in general, you know that like there's no such thing as totally bad, totally good, and that every vibrational energy has both a high point and a low point, or um, if you like to think of it in terms of like frequencies or ways that we can embody things. There's like a high vibe and a low vibe to every energy. And just because an energy tends to swing towards harder or more challenging or more even painful, yes, doesn't mean that it's inherently bad because just from using Kalima as a reference, since we're talking about Scorpio in particular, right? Kalima is very much so a goddess associated with Scorpio energy because she is the goddess of death and destruction. But the whole point of Kali killing everybody and everything that she desires to kill is so that new life can come in. It's not just the like, you know, I'm gonna kill you. It's because I'm gonna kill you because something else needs to grow. Something else needs to happen here besides what is happening. And that's really the wisdom of Scorpio energy. Okay. And I'm, I know I'm like bouncing around. I just want to acknowledge that, but that's part of understanding what Scorpio is, is that it is the death. It is the, the really dark depths that other people, many people are scared to travel that's Scorpio. It's the deepest of depths. It's the most intense sign, okay? And that's part of where its power lies in the fact that it can go deeper than any other energy out there because it's also ruled in its modern rulership by Pluto, which is again the poles and extremes. Very hot fire, very cold ice, right? Hades, the god of the underworld, right? So there's that like dichotomy inherent within Scorpio. And then you, you know, have to take into account it's ruled by malefics. So it's like two malefics rule it, not just one. Okay. So that's a little intense. So it has like two planets that can be more challenging, painful, or so-called bad guys in our initial interface. Put it this way. They're not just Santa Claus, like Jupiter, which is going to like give you gifts. Like here, everybody, I got you the monies. I got you the good gifts. Just take it. You know, it's like I won the lottery. That's not the energy of Scorpio. Scorpio is the transformer. And I go back to that Kali Ma energy because the goddess Kali did kill things so that new things could grow. And that's where... The Pluto comes in because it takes things away and that's where the Mars comes in because it's the strategist or the general of the zodiac so it knows how to navigate to its destination. So when we think about 
the question why is Scorpio the most powerful sign at Zodiac is because a few things. Scorpio has the ability to go through the ugliest, deepest of depths that other signs fear to their core because they understand that if they go to those depths, something within them will die. Many other signs, I'll just keep this video real simple and just put out a blanket statement that you can critique me on totally fine. Let's just say all other signs are scared shitless, excuse my French, of where Scorpio will not fear to go. Scorpio will go where every other sign is very scared to go. And that's part of their strength because they have the ability to go through their fears beyond. What is beyond the fear? A lot of people hold back because they, they see the fear and they stay back here where it's safe. Scorpio says, I know to get what I want, which is always something deep in a Scorpio. They always have desires, which is not a judgment. It's an acknowledgement. Okay, to get what I want as a Scorpio, Scorpio knows they have to meet this fear and exceed this fear. They have to go beyond that fear to get what it is that they want. And that's the power of Scorpio because they know that something will die in them when they hit this threshold. They know they're going to have to kill off part of their ego. They know that something is going to change. They know that something's going to transform within them. But they push that threshold and they get to the other side. You know how many people get to the other side? Not many people. If you have Scorpio energy, you're probably one of those people. I'll just go ahead and say you are one of those people and it might look different depending on who you are and what the topic is and what your ultimate Scorpio desires are the Mars energy right of getting I see I want I get that's Mars you know it's an action oriented strategist oriented general achievement oriented type energy that's why Aries is so badass right so you know, that's a little bit of a thought on why is Scorpio so deep. And that plays in, everything I said plays into the healing ability of Scorpio because Scorpios are at the end of the day brave. And it might not be brave out of, you know, I'm the most honorous, like, um, you know, uh, what's self-sacrificing, like, person out there you know it might not be from that place of energy it might be from a place of some internal motivation whether that internal motivation is to be a healer for others whether that internal motivation is to simply achieve more income more whatever they want more well, that could be a motivation that a Scorpio has. Scorpios in a low vibe can be really power hungry. Scorpios in a high vibe know how to conduct power more than, more better, better if that's, they know how to conduct power better than anybody else out there because Scorpio is power. They understand the currents of energy. They're fixed water. So they're firmly fluid. Could you think of a more dope energy? I mean, who is the Jedi master? You know what I'm saying? Like the person who's fluid. If your constant state is fluidity and the only constant of the earth and life is change, then how could Scorpio as fixed fluidity, fixed water, not be the most powerful sign of the Zodiac just by that alone? Not to mention currency is coin, which is other people's money, which is the eighth house, which is the eighth sign, which is Scorpio. And currency is energy. And currency is fluidity. So therefore, water, there's this connection between fixed water and the, you add in there this general um, kind of mentality with the Mars of like actual strategy and application around that fluidity to end at a certain game point or to get to yourself to a specific target because Scorpio is very targeted okay and you have a recipe for a powerful success now with great power comes great responsibility and this video is not to coax the ego of Scorpios but at the same time it is to recognize maybe some of the mechanics or some of the nuts and bolts or the bricks and mortar if you will of why your structure is so strong and so badass and so this has been some stuff I've been reflecting on lately uh, with Scorpio energy and it's been really like a profound thing. I know there's some Scorpio folks who watch these videos regularly so in gratitude and I hope this video has served you and helped you understand your own energy better. Um, but really you know how you conduct your energy as a Scorpio is what really determines who you are at the end of the day. Because when you are a Scorpio being and you have Scorpio energy you do have great power. You can manipulate if you want. You can turn situations entirely around. You can heal people's energy bodies. You can heal people's psychological, emotional bodies just as much as you can damage them and wreck those people for life if those people aren't strong healers or seek healing or set their intentions or put their shields up or whatever, et cetera, et cetera. Scorpio can be a really malefic energy. I, am, I have so many stories I could share in a different video probably, um, and it gets a little more intimate to like my life, but 
you know, I have a lot of Scorpio energy. I won't tell you what all I have going on there, but like, I understand it really well. Let me put it that way. And, um, you know, I just have a lot of respect for the energy, especially people who use it to the benefit of others. To me, that type of Scorpio is like my hero because when you have a Scorpio energy and you apply it for the purpose of healing, that's honest to God is like one of the most beautiful things you I've ever seen. You know what I mean? Because Scorpio is the conductor. You're just like, this is the show and this is what I want it to do. And that's the energy. So um, if you are a Scorpio, I want you to like reflect on some of these things I've said and maybe like reflect on how you're using your power. That's my like assignment for all the Scorpios out there and reflect on whether or not you're aware of that power. And if you're not aware, maybe start there on the awareness piece and then think about like how you're applying it. Feel into that Scorpios because I would love to I would love to hear your reflections actually on how you feel you conduct your Scorpio energy, how do you see it coming up? And how do you apply it? How do you use it? You know, and I would also really love to know, like, what about this video really resonated to you? I feel like I had some maybe original presentation compared to a lot of other astrology videos on like why a Scorpio what it is. But um, I would love your honest raw feedback. So please feel free to share that with me. And I hope that, again, this video brought you some value. So thank you so much, everybody. If you did enjoy it, then go ahead and hit the like button before you leave. Also subscribe and put a comment, as I already said. And if you want to get a reading with me, I do offer those. And I thoroughly love helping people interpret their star charts each star chart is entirely different compared to each souls you know so um i really enjoy giving people that kind of insight and interpreting you know your soul as it as it incarnated so you can reach out to me um just go ahead and email me at wisdom drops at gmail.com that's all z's info is down below so with that said peace and may the stars be with you not against you with you